Over the past 10 years, these fantastic little camera traps have revolutionized the way that we study biodiversity and wildlife. But what we're doing here at Crees is taking these cameras up into the trees. So we're starting to study wildlife and biodiversity up in the canopy on the same level as opposed to trying to do it from the ground. What we're also trying to do is look at different levels. So not just high up here at the very top where we are today, but also down in the mid canopy as well. So we're doing a vertical stratification. It's super important to understand all different levels of the canopy. And also what we're doing, the final thing that's a big point for us, is to look at different types of forest. So not just pristine and primary forest, but looking at regenerating areas and understanding how the animals are using different types of forest. And that's why this project that we're doing at Crees is so cutting edge and so important. We've just taken down our camera traps after six months and the biodiversity that we've captured on there has been absolutely incredible. And that's what we're really interested to know is how many species are using the canopy and regenerating rainforest. And that's super important when you're working in a cultural zone and a biosphere reserve, just like we are here in Manu. This guy just coming into shot is a woolly monkey, an endangered species, and one of the key focal animals that we're interested in finding more about. Now what's really interesting is that we're finding them using regenerating forest, areas that have previously been disturbed by humans, and we're really interested to find out why. This next species that you can see moving into shot is a red howler monkey, another really interesting primate that we didn't pick up in the cameras last year, but here you can see them moving through the trees in their full family group. This nocturnal species is a kinkajou, and it's a species that we found particularly difficult to study previously, but with these camera traps we're starting to understand a lot more about their distribution and movements. Two species which we didn't capture last year in our pilot study were the squirrel monkeys and the capuchins, but this year with a second set of cameras down at the mid-level, so not just high in the canopy, we've actually got a wealth of footage. From a second research perspective, these camera traps are allowing us a unique insight into some really special animal behaviours. And a good example of this are these spider monkeys, another endangered species on the reserve, and they're displaying nocturnal behaviours, which is something completely unknown before the footage we collected here. This arboreal work that we've been doing this year has been absolutely incredible, so fantastic. We've got some amazing footage of great species like woolly monkey and spider monkey that are endangered, but what we really need to do is take this project on a bigger scale across the whole national park. In order for us here at Crees to continue this amazing project, we need some help. The methods and the techniques that we're using are cutting edge and very expensive, and we'd also love to train up some new staff so that we can keep this project long term and across the whole Manu Biosphere Reserve. 